are on our way to your new boat. Yes, and I'm just praying when we get there, the thing's still floating. It's gonna be an adventure, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a great time. You ever just wanna quit your job, buy a boat, sail around the world? Well, what if we told you that was possible? I'm Rad. And I'm Sasha. With more willpower than money and a dream to become pirates, we bought a sinking sailboat and spent the next nine months transforming it into one of the sexiest boats on the seven seas. There is nothing that can get in the way of us sailing around the world. So grab your popcorn, hit subscribe, and be prepared for one hell of a story. The story of our lives. This is the journey of Spirit Animal. Make sure and read all the fine print. <laughs> <laughs> it's official. That's all right. All right Congratulations. Man. Thank you very much. Spirit animals ready to rock. <laughs> I have not started the engine or checked the sails, or do I have insurance on this vessel yet? Y'all saw the condition it was in. It's uh, pretty shitty. We are about to step on it for the first time. It's gonna be a good one. We're gonna wing it. So we're going to find Raph's new boat, and he has no idea where it is. The start of the adventure is going real well. It might be sunk. <laughs> might be, that might be why we can't find it. It might be on the bottom of the ocean. Oh, there it is over there. <laughs> Got a little pep in your step there. <laughs> At this point, Raph and I were really good friends, and the last thing we wanted to do was ruin that friendship by rushing into a relationship. We sailed all last season together, but times were good and we were on different boats, so there's still a ton to learn. Without speaking it, I think we were both using this trip as some sort of test. And I can't think of a better way to test a relationship than to get on a sinking sailboat and take off 300 miles south. Ready for the new chapter, the new adventures? It starts now. Look at that thing. The new baby. Solid. I was in love. And Woo! this was my first time stepping on the boat as the new owner. Of course, we had to make it official and slap a spirit animal sticker on it. Boom, baby. A couple inches there. Yeah. Like the decor. Dude, sweet shades. These might have to stay. Sweet hats. Hats came with the boat on the rack. We got a hit in hers. Check this out. Coolest thing I found yet. We got a bell. We wanted to set sail ASAP, so we quickly cleaned up the boat and started opening hatches that we had never opened before. This is where I began to question. Both bridge compressors were completely rusted out and did not work. Which brings me back to a memory. When I was looking at the boat with the broker. Uh, the bridges work. I believe everything works. So now I've got my concerns. Was this guy as nice and genuine as he seemed to be? Or was he working for the guy who hired him? So we kept on cleaning and a couple minutes later we got approached by the neighbor from the next slip over. And he said... Hey man, you the new owner of that vessel right there? Yes sir. Last guy sold it because he couldn't get in on that bridge over there. Tried like 20 times. And that's the moment I realized I messed up. So here's where the boat is, this is how you get out to the ocean, and here's the fixed bridge that the last owner couldn't get the boat under. He proceeded to tell us that the previous owner had tried for six months to clear the bridge with no luck. He went out multiple times on low tide and could never get the boat under the bridge. And then they sold it to me and failed to mention this one minor detail. Low tide happened to be in 30 minutes, so if there was any time to get this boat under that bridge, Time was now. We have a lot of factors going for us. So I ran around the boat checking all the dock lines and... The boat was just not moving. It feels like we're on the bottom right now. There's no ropes on there? And still nothing. I was flooring it this time, like 
throttled down. We had a whole mud river behind the boat and uh, the boat wasn't moving. I was turning the wheel left, turning the wheel right, trying to wiggle the keel out, but the keel was buried in the mud. And at this point I'm thinking, maybe that's the only reason why this boat hasn't sunk. So right now our boat is on bottom. The keel is buried in the mud and we have to wait until 8.30 tonight for the tide to rise just so we can get out of the marina. Then we're gonna move all the way to the channel, drop anchor, sit and wait till five o'clock a.m. until the tide is at its lowest point. Lucky for us, it's a full moon tonight, which means we'll have a king tide. That means the tide will be lower than it'll ever be this month. So if we don't make it under the bridge tonight, we gotta wait a whole month to try again if we're lucky. Dead low tides at 5 a.m. So we waited until 8.30 right now. It's high tide. We're about to head out there to try to go under this bridge in the pitch blackness. We may or may not hit this thing. If we do, it'll be slightly catastrophic. Fingers crossed, it's game time. It's game time. <laughs> First time driving this boat. It's a 50 footer, no bow thrusters. Not sure how the engine's supposed to sound. Not sure how it turns corners. I'm in a marina with boats all around me. And I would say I have probably 50 feet to the boats in front of me. So here's the marina we're stuck in and here's the bridge we have to get under. Right now it's high tide. We got 10 knots of wind coming out of the north and it's dark. But we gotta attempt to hit a U-turn out of this marina, avoiding all the boats, and come down this channel, which we hear is really shallow. If we don't hug the left side of this thing, they told us we have a great chance of running aground. Here we go, boys. Slow and steady. ones after these two if we hit it's gonna be now coming through the last things oh boy okay. Doing oh great. yeah there's oh, that shit. current you feel it oh yeah okay all right we are dropping anchor right now we made it out of the channel so now that we made it out of the marina we're gonna come out towards the main channel and drop anchor we'll sit here and wait until the tide is at its lowest point and try to make it under this bridge so we had had a really long day and we really needed a couple good hours of sleep the boat was so nasty on the inside that we could not sleep in one of the cabins instead we made a cute little bed underneath the stars and took a little cat nap it is 4 30 in the morning and tide is changing soon we're drinking some cold brew coffee that sasha made good start to the morning let's do this like i said the last guy sold the boat in six months because he couldn't make it under this bridge <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about suing the old owner because he sold him a boat he couldn't take out of the marina this court case is now open we are ready for trial right now we're rigging up all of the boat fenders that we have we're gonna put them on the right side of the boat because the channel we have to go through is not dead center in the middle of the bridge as you can see the middle of the bridge is here the channel is where that orange reflector is so there's a high side of the channel so as i go through i'm probably gonna grind that wooden bank all the way through and try not to hit it's dark so i can't see it there could be bolts or something so we're gonna put these out here we got about 10 minutes till the tide changes rig them up rig them up rig them up, rig them up. <laughs> also have a hole in the side of the boat do your magic you. looks good so the windlass doesn't work, wraps up on the bow of the boat, pulling in the chain. I got the easy job of driving the boat up to the chain to make it a little easier for him to pull it in. Here we go, boys. <laughs> Woo. We're up. 
it is dead low tide, 5 a.m. It is go time. I'm about to creep harder than I've ever creeped before. Got some butterflies. Don't be scared. As we're coming up, the marker is reading 68 feet of clearance. And it just turns out that our mast is also 68 feet, allegedly. Wow. Hey, shine up at that bridge. Man, that is tight. Oh gosh. Shine it up at the bridge and then shine it at the mast. Uh-huh. All right, we're coming in. We're getting as close to the wall as we can to get maximum height on this bridge here. Damn, dude, it looks like we're over, doesn't it? The height is gonna tell you min minimum clearance. That's your minimum clearance. That's that's like, so we have I maybe over. We're fine. <laughs> I know, I'm just a little nervous. <laughs> I was a little nervous. Yeah, a little, yeah, she was talking a lot. Well, I'd seen a bow get stuck under a bridge before and that was not pretty. Oh my goodness. Rap, we got this, we got this Rap. Sorry, I'll I'm stop good. talking. You're, I feel like you're just talking to yourself right there. I am. <laughs> we hit, we're not getting out of here for a month though. Nah, it, I think we have clearance. Holy shoot! Oh my god, we're good. Number one. I think this, oh. the wind vane is good. It's still on. That is close. Holy smokes. Ooh. That one's like six inches, yo. Hugging this wall. Hugging it. Oh my god! Woo There's no shadow in between the top of the mast and that bridge <laughs> when we go into those concrete pylons. Oh! We got a raffle! <laughs> oh my god, that's an inch! One more! And then we're clear. Part. This is it. This is it. Oh my, oh my god. god. That couldn't have been any closer. Raph, we are at maximum height here. Maximum height up against the pylon. Up against, and we made it. Let's go. We made it. Sun, free and clear. <laughs> this court case has been adjourned. We got it. I wish you were up in the Bozeman's chair because that would have been like, it was literally an inch from here. I'm, I'm shaking a little bit. It might be the coffee. <laughs> Rap, I, I think you can get off this wall now. Hey, well, we're out. We're free, free and clear. We are free and clear. We are off to Fort Lauderdale. Let's go. I need a beer. It's 5 a.m. <laughs> so let's go. So we make it past the bridge. We think we're home free and then what do you know, we have a new issue. We are uh, coming out of the channel here. We got jetties to our left and right, and the transmission just slipped on me. Their transmission slips. So this brought back another memory. Hey, the engine actually made the cheap. So now we're in the middle of the jetties. We're drifting straight towards them. I'm sitting there thinking, wow. I just borrowed $120,000, bought a sinking sailboat, and I'm not even gonna make it out of the channel. Good lord, son, what's wrong with you? 